Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pequeño Pod with Senor Pequeños. New year, new intro, same relaxed comedy. Please consider supporting us on Patreon as we are but poor lost circus performers and it helps pay for podcast equipment, editing hours, and also gets you some fun little goofy benefits. And if you choose not to, that's fine. (laughs) That's fine. We'd appreciate a five-star rating. We read comments and reviews in every episode, so enjoy this free one and have a horrible day. I'm not even recording on Audacity. I should probably start that. (laughs) My gosh. You, Daniel. It's going to do another line before we start. <laughs> do another line of cocaine? Yeah. Speaking of overdosing. Speaking of oh. having horrible trips. <laughs> Daniel had an awful trip this weekend. And I don't mean vacation. Unless Where'd you go? It's... Detroit? <laughs> Sorry. Horrible. No, I went to hell. I saw OJ. I saw OJ. How's he doing? (laughs) He's doing great. Norm's looking down on him from up there. (laughs) Oh, so many things. Yeah, I'm glad you liked the article I sent about him. Which one? (laughs) Or he admitted to the the killing, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck off. I hate you guys. <laughs> Stupid assholes. You sent me a clip and you were like, it was like OJ uh, admits to death on deathbed. On, on on death like, oh! I click on it. Gigantic black cock. Huh. <laughs> That's I was what like, OJ Man. showed him on his deathbed. <laughs> That's the last thing he saw. <laughs> he he pulls his family in close and he's like, I have something to tell you, my confession. It's in my right hand. And they pull back the covers and he's just holding his dick. And they're like, yeah. OJ. <laughs> Obadiah oh, James Jay. Simpson. <laughs> Obadiah. <laughs> <laughs> he just dies with his dick in his hand. <sighs> That's how I want to go. That's how I want to go too. <laughs> I the love all the comments. Man. I love all the comments that were like, OJ's wife can finally no what was it OJ can finally rest while knowing his wife's killer is dead <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> comments like that he's looking up at us and all that stuff goodbye Twitter world <laughs> 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 I don't know why I didn't tweet that out I should have <laughs> uh, I'm sure yeah I'm sure like but it, it just happened and almost almost all of the jokes were already out there I was like damn these people are fast <laughs> All these people don't have jobs or what? <laughs> the Twitter comedians? <laughs> oh, yeah. I just know they were rushing to that. Ugh, it was so funny. They were hackers. My brother was genuinely excited. He was just sending me memes. I'm like, aren't you in school right now? <laughs> He's More like, way off. Oh, do do OJ die? <laughs> it's a national holiday. The juice is loose is one of the craziest things that ever happened, though. Stop. Like, you gotta admit. <laughs> the juice went loose in hell. I love the one of, of the of the white Bronco driving into the gates of hell. <laughs> With the cops tailing behind him. <laughs> oh, God. So funny. Ugh. The Shrek reference. Amen. I guess there was a prank Shrek show too. back in the day that was only like a couple seasons that was like OJ pranking people in stores. What? I need to find out if that's real. That's something. If it is, that's something I gotta fucking watch. Pretty oh. sure your brother sent that to me. <laughs> of course he fucking did. Dude, what? I, David, I don't... Mm, it's finals week, man. You were worrying me. <laughs> oh, dude, Stop. it's fine. It's literally fine, it's dude. It's fine. It's uh. fine. <laughs> You still, you still got that mentality where you're like, <laughs> it's a meme, Get dude. Work. Get to work, sonny. <laughs> oh, he already hates me for that. He'll send me a meme at like 2 a.m. And I'll be like, go to bed. He'll be like, fuck off. <laughs> Call him uh, David W. <laughs> literally. literally. Uh, he'll send me random, now that he lives at home, he'll just send me random things that he's discovering about our parents. And he'll be like, oh god! <laughs> he'll just be like, he'll be like, Lord it'll, drops. It'll be Don't like, scare. it'll be like one a.m. and he'll be like, Dad knows about Jake Paul. We're fucked. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> what happened to you? He knows about who? It Jake froze. Paul. It was, oh, it froze. Oh, it was, it was fully <laughs> There's censored. There's silence in you, dude. It you was know about fully Jake Paul silencing me. <laughs> like he knows about <laughs> who? <laughs> Oh, it actually froze! Are you frozen? You're so it froze. It actually oh. froze again! <laughs> that was horrifying. I hated that. <laughs> I was like, okay. I can't tell if he's frozen or Dude, if he's joking. Or if this is a bit. 
Yeah, I know. No, that, dude, it was so funny because you both made the face and then froze. So I thought you were joking with me and I was like, ha ha ha. And then you just didn't move. And I was like, this is terrifying. Yeah, we both planned that right now. <laughs> that was scary. We linked eyes through the screen and we're like, now. That was terrifying. Ugh. Anyway, um, you may you may notice that the patron busts are not on the um, the hotel chair I got anymore, and that is unfortunately because there's a story t- to why the hotel chair is no longer with us. Um, no longer with us. Did they oh, repo? Yeah. Uh, so what happened repo was repo or haunted. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was, um, like, I occasionally use the freight elevator because it's closer to my car, and the freight elevator goes through like the hotel, like, whatever. And so they've been remodeling. I think I told you guys this before. So I got like a desk from them, a mirror, some a lamp, you know. Um, and so like one time I like I went out through the freight elevator, and the hall was full of lamps. And I think I sent you a, a fucking video of just every corner of this room being filled with fucking <laughs> dumbass like broken lamps. Uh, and so amongst the lamps were a few hotel chairs and like, I was looking at them to see if there was any that was worth taking and like a couple of them were all stained and I was like, I don't want that one. And then a couple of them were like, were you so, you know, how, you know, yeah, how, why not? <laughs> mysterious Just, hotel stains, <laughs> a giant cum stain in the shape of like the Nickelodeon splat. And you're like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> Bugs I'll crawling out of it. I'll poisonally pass on the mysterious yeah. <laughs> stain. <laughs> I'll poisonally pass on the sticky chair. But, like, you know how chairs will wobble from one leg to another? There was one chair that was, like, the most violent. It was, like, a full... That doesn't look good. It was good. a ride. <laughs> I was milking the cows. <laughs> it was a full, like, inch side to side. Anyway, so I, I did find one chair. Yeah, so you got chair. that one because it was, like, a ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah, so I'm on this chair today, <laughs> but like that was stupid. Anyway, so I did find a chair that was like good. It was solid. It had like a ink stain on there, like pen, but like it wasn't gross. And I was like, ah, I can spray that out. So I took it, it upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Me looking at the Spanish janitor in the face <laughs> on the way up to my room, holding the chair. At least it's not calm. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to change that. (laughs) (laughs) Can't wait to add my own stains. My own stains. (laughs) (laughs) So I took that upstairs, and that's what I was using for the Patreon busts, the other other episode we recorded. And then at some point, like a week went by, and I went downstairs to the front desk for something that I needed. And the person that, like, basically runs the apartments was like, oh, hey, um, question for you. Did you happen to take a hotel chair? And I was like... No. You mean from the garbage bin? It, it took me three. It took me two seconds because I was like, "Do I want to lie?" And I was like, "No, she's nice." So I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> yes. I did." It was from the garbage pile, and she was like, "Well, the hotel contacted me, and they were mad, and they showed me security footage of you taking oh, the chair, and they said, find ask. him for us.'" <laughs> find him. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, She's showing me camera footage that's literally me wearing the pequeño pot shirt. I'm like, I don't know who that fucker is. I've never oh, seen that man in my uh, life. <laughs> I've never seen that red-cheeked baboon anywhere in my life. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I'm just – and, like, that was the most embarrassing thing to me because I remember when I grabbed that chair because – you would have literally seen me doing you this were walking, because like, waddling you would you would have seen me footage. like looking and like <laughs> <laughs> doing this <laughs> and, and, the then, like, and then like and then like looking around and then going like <laughs> <laughs> and she's like that you and I'm like, was that, that you. <laughs> And the hotel being like, the resemblance. And the hotel being like, we want Frankly, this guy. I'm we want him dead. And the fact that she recognized me immediately as the person from the security camera footage. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I took it from the garbage pile. And she was like, yeah, well, the hotel said they were brand new chairs. And I was like, well, they lied. But if they want them back, that's fine. So I was just like embarrassed imagining this conversation where they like print out this paper like tuff, tuff, what's this <laughs> who's this guy but like yeah so i literally Wanted grabbed the chair the i i put a post-it note on it that said hi i'm sorry i thought it was trash i'm sorry and then put it back but now it said, that I'm i know sorry, like six times on it 
But now that I know it, I, it was the most embarrassing thing dropping it off because now that I know the security camera footage is on me, I like am so self-conscious. So I wore a COVID mask and sunglasses. <laughs> it's like every time, every time you leave your room now, you wear the disguise like, now. <laughs> so I literally went down there. Why's the honker out? <laughs> worse. <laughs> That's so bad. I'm looking like Swiper the Fox. <laughs> so I went down there to drop it off, but like <coughs> they were currently moving all the rest of the stuff out of there. So there was like people there and there was a so when the door opened. <laughs> when, <they're, laughs> <No, that's okay. laughs> when the door opened, they, they, they in disguise. <laughs> So when the elevator doors opened, they had just walked around the corner and I was trying to drop it up before anyone saw me. So in the security camera footage, you can literally see me go, pushing the button on the elevator and then like <laughs> jumping on it as fast as possible. You th you're in the uh. elevator, you throw the chair out of the elevator, but you Why never exit the elevator. <laughs> yeah, you never exit With one it. hand, just <laughs> <laughs> flipping off the camera with my giant. <laughs> The long yeah. ass finger. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> One really long finger comes out of the elevator, stretches out. <laughs> I should have just dropped it off and like on the camera footage, just show me like. <laughs> like <laughs> what? No, like you can keep it. <laughs> it on it. Enjoy Actually, my sir. cum on your hotel chair. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember it having this many stains when you took it. <laughs> yeah, so I literally wrote on the post-it note. I was like, I thought it was trash because of the stains, just so they would know it wasn't me. So, whatever. <laughs> like, oh, it smells now. Yeah, mm. so fucking asshole. So now I don't have a hotel chair, which is very sad, because I was like, what a nice no chair. I was literally talking about this chair. That's how old and sad I am. I was talking about this chair. I was like, what a nice chair. This is a solid made chair. Gave it up. Mm -hmm. Had to give it back. Stole it. Had to it. give it up. My bad luck continued from there. Um, so <clears throat> we did a. Um, so I think I told you guys about this. We got like a like a couple's date book that like it's a scratch off. So you scratch it off the day of, um, and like you do whatever the thing says. Like you can't say no. <laughs> Kill yourself. Oh, gosh. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, what? I, was like, what? Huh? <laughs> I bet you won't do it. <laughs> Pay off my student debt. <laughs> oh, all of it? You have to, babe. I can't say no. <laughs> each, each one just says anal sex, anal sex. <laughs> well, <laughs> the book said. The book said, the book, said to book. the book said to kill OJ. I mean, we can't just say no. Uh, joking. Anyway, but like you're supposed to do whatever it is like the day of. Um, and it was face painting. And we were like, okay. So we went to like Walmart. They were out of face paint. We went to Target out of face paint. We were like, this is... This is becoming more difficult than it should have been. I didn't know they just been. had face paint. I just kind of assumed any, like, regular store that sold shit would have fucking face paint. I guess not. Um, but so we went by Michael's. No face paint. Um, not even at the craft <clears throat> store? Okay, I thought the craft store no. would have it. Um, or I, so I guess the last place we went was Target because it was next to Michael's. And they had washable kids paint. And I was like... There and she is. was like, and she was like, I don't think that's the same as face paint. And I was like, ah, if it washes, what could go on. wrong? Just the fumes burning your skin. Yeah, so, oh. severe rash. So yeah. unfortunately, a Despicable Me minion was burned onto my face for a whole day. Oh, no, no. That's my boy. Oh, my <laughs> Uh, we started noticing about halfway through the second face being painted. I was like, my face is tingly. <laughs> <laughs> my face is melting. <laughs> like, Why does my skin feel spicy? 
Mm. So um, that washable paint is not the same as face paint. Just in, I guess I'm aware. Since everyone else, oh. I know this. Oh. <laughs> Shut up! Oh. Shut up! <laughs> I think you're in a party city or something. I, I don't know. We I don't. <laughs> It's a good point. You know what? Why don't I just shut up? <laughs> you know, the party store with tapes. Maybe the ones with shut costumes up, and shut stuff. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I went to Walmart. <laughs> just got the, interior paint. <laughs> <laughs> the next hilarious thing that kind of happened was we were, uh, maybe it was after that. We were trying to eat dinner somewhere, but it was kind of early. It was like 4 p.m. But we were like, a couple things are yeah, bound early, to be open. Yeah. <laughs> The first place we went to was closed. <laughs> then we went to Texas Roadhouse, and they were like, we open at 4, and it was like 3.50, and we were like, all right, we'll just wait here, I guess. And in that 10 minutes, the parking lot went from empty to 40 people waiting in line behind us. Did I send you a Snapchat oh gosh, of this fucking yeah, line? Yeah, yeah. It Hello? was <laughs> It was the most entertaining thing to me ever, because here's the progress of what happened. Here's how we realized what was going on. We're, in, we're just sitting at the on the bench by the door, Empty parking lot. Someone pulls in, pulls into the handicap spot. We were like, okay. Next person pulls in, pulls into another handicap spot. And we were like, huh. And then next person well, pulls in, people. pulls into the handicap spot. And I was like, they can't all be handicapped, right? <laughs> they were all handicapped. They're they all get out of their cars and they're all like, <laughs> I ain't walking. Okay, well, you don't have to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's grandmother. <laughs> Well, they did. An actual zombie walked out of that fucking vehicle. Rotting flesh. <laughs> smelled horrible. <laughs> the door of the truck opened. <laughs> I knocked over all the patrons. Good. <laughs> Stop! So, and like, there were so many old people waiting, and then they all started slowly getting pissed that the two young people were ahead of them. And this fucking, like, it was so weird, because people started trying to cut everybody and like stand, like, and just, there's a whole line of 30 people, and like, people would just see it, and walk straight to the door and start <laughs> trying to get in. And you that can see the employee the... on the other side going, uh, checks out. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> And all the old people behind us going, get the fuck in the back of the line! Like, it was like, they were defensive. I was for you. <laughs> I didn't lose my tear ducts just to get cut at Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> it was fucking insane. And is there then, a reason there's that many people? I don't fucking know. Is it always know. like that? Why at 4 p.m.? It was like yeah. a Monday. It was like, yeah, it was like, it was midday, midweek, right? It's all, I think it's just like that's when. Is that just the place to go? I think it's just the place to go <laughs> yeah. in that town. Because when we got when we got in, well, so first of all, before we even get in, there's this last insane person, who, like, as soon as um, the doors start getting unlocked, like the minute an employee put a key in the hole, it, uh, <laughs> they grew muscles. Oh, all of them. <laughs> they jumped them out of the wheelchairs. They could walk. It was a miracle. <laughs> the old guy like. <laughs> POV, the the first time he's walked in 20 years. <laughs> PO, POV, you're the employee opening up the Texas Roadhouse at 4 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'd quit immediately. Oh Holy my shit. gosh, dude, I would have shit my pants. <laughs> you know when I you sent shit that my little picture. Overalls. Of all those people just sitting in line, I actually Googled, like, I was like, is it busy at Texas Roadhouse, like, right after that? Because I was like, why are there so many fucking people? And it, it said it was just always like that. Yeah. I was like, always? And so right as the employee put the key I, in the hole. I didn't hole, even know people went there. There's only, like, I, one I know. Near what do they me, serve? Just, uh, your, just dinner food. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, steaks like and burgers diner? and mashed potatoes and beans and that kind of stuff. Didn't you get that at any, like, little mom and pop diner one, place? One, the special thing to Texas Roadhouse, though, is the rolls that you get beforehand. Those are genuinely it's the best red, rolls. It's bread! It's, it's bread! No, 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 no. You have to try it. No, it's no, something no, no. different. <laughs> what is so different about it? What when is it? you guys come to St. Louis, we're going to go to Texas Roadhouse at 4 p.m. get assaulted by old people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, do I want to? <laughs> I so, can't even eat the damn bread. So the I know, right? I was like, I, what, what's on it? Is there butter? I don't know if I can have it then. Yeah, what's on it? I don't know what, yeah, I mean, what it comes, it it's, it's just one Drugs, of those, I don't know. 
<laughs> it's just, dude, it's just the rolls no. are beautiful. They're just Beast. made incredible. Beautiful. Only rivaled by, like, Red Lobster biscuits. Anyway, so the, the employee puts the key in the hole, and I kind of expected all the old people to cut us, but they instead were like, go, go. They were, like, telling us in the front of the line. They were like, get, get over there, get up there. And I was like, I'm kind of embarrassed to get up, like, before the doors open, but okay. And we get up. So we're standing in front of the door, and as the employee like opens Friday the door, sale. as we're opening, as the employee's opening the door to us, there's still a gap between us and the door because we're not fucking insane. And a woman hops out of the bush next to us and goes, yeah, and fucking um, um. Just gets into the fucking gap. And she goes, I want a table. And he was like, oh, okay. And they they take her inside, like, and they sit her down for like she's saving a table of fucking whatever thirty. And she's like, I've got to pee, and tugs on his shirt, and he's like, the bathroom's that way. Oh my gosh, people who tug on the waiters, like, like aprons oh, and clothing. Gross. They need to get fucking like toddlers. Can you know, imagine right? if the like, punishment for doing this was just... <laughs> get smacked? Just full on. Get back I think in the door she came in. Dude, Daniel, I think you're just looking for a reason to assault an old person. <laughs> yup, that's it. Who is it? That's like the fourth... <laughs> fourth time you said like just beat him up, dude. <laughs> what a fourth time? Dude, this call? No, so, like not the this tenth time. time. This call, yeah. <laughs> Daniel's oh, like they're well, this close to death. <laughs> Anyways, just get rid of them. Well, get we're talking rid about, of them. If we're talking about in my lifetime, I've said it way more than four times. So, <laughs> <laughs> Juliana was on this call before you, and I was like, you know, maybe we should start killing people for fraud. And she was like, uh, um. <laughs> yeah, he was, I was literally like, at what price is there? Like, and when it's justifiable. And he's like, I don't know. I think I think death penalty is fair for, for money. Fraud. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I, I was think like, so. What? Anyway. I was like, I accidentally hey. walk out of something with Walmart, and he's like, death sentence. <laughs> and hey, if you, some if poor we... kid steals a candy bar, Daniel wants him That's executed. It. That's it. <laughs> Not in my country. Electric chair. It's the same. It's the same mood as like picking up a nickel in Gotham City, and Batman's like, just, just, <laughs> just beating the shit out of him. Daniel just wants to be Batman. Uh, For real, dude. <laughs> Except I'm like weak, so I couldn't do anything. I, it's just Batman, Knock but with a off. gun. <laughs> Get the Except, fuck away. <laughs> yeah, Batman with a gun. You just want to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a rich guy in like a onesie with ears just shooting homeless people. I don't like you. <laughs> homeless people, I said. Homeless. <laughs> homeless. Dude, Daniel had a dream where he killed like 30 people in it. <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> then he woke up. He had a gun in his hand, and the cops were right next to him. And he's like, <laughs> and then he's I, like woke no, up. "I swear, I swear, it was a dream." All this. <laughs> <laughs> Those Random. sleep paralysis demons were all over me. <laughs> Random memory, but as I was getting in back into my apartment from the gym to do this call, there was a dude three apartments down. I literally there was like a bit of a lip of the wall, so you can't quite see people walk in their door, but you can see them walk in. And I literally, he was so drunk, I watched him go. <laughs> he ran into his own door and like, <laughs> and like fell on the floor. And I was like, oh my gosh. Anyway, Ooh. time for podcast call. And I just kind of moved on. Oh, that was the memory. I thought yeah. that triggered like a horrible traumatic. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I Dad killed him drunk and 30 and... <laughs> more people. <laughs> so I just choked him out right there. I thought he put him out of his misery. <laughs> yeah. So I took the leg of the hotel chair and shoved it down his throat. In his anyway. eye. Anyway. Oh, gosh. Jesus. Anyway. Um, you act like um, one is worse. What? What do you mean? Also, I think I may have been asleep when I put one of these topics on here because it doesn't make any sense to me and I don't know what it means. You're just going to ignore the fact you murdered up, all those people up, in your up. dream? <laughs> He's I not going to go happened. into that at all. What do you mean? You, you're like, I'm going to say this before I forget it, but... I was. In, I took a Southwest flight straight to Saudi Arabia. And I Juliana, like, well, your dream journal has you filling people with jelly, <laughs> jelly filling people. Would you shut up? No, me filled with jelly. <laughs> no, you definitely said if I jelly fill a net of one person, I have jelly fill. No, no, I, I said if they eat me, then there's uh. been a loss of life. But I think there's an overall gain. I I hey. satisfied someone. <laughs> we we got to pull it together. Anyway, my topic that I wrote down, I have no idea what Saudi it means Arabia. is. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, 
Okay, the dream was we were in Saudi Arabia for a high school reunion. Okay? As and one there, has. And there were a few zombies. There were like three, though, not 30. Oh, zombies? Yeah. They were uh, is zombies. Is that what you're calling them? <laughs> there were some were old just... people that committed They're fraud, and so I killed them because that seemed like it fit the crime, okay? <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, buddy. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. The topic Justified. on this. The topic on this says, "Do you have cash? Pull up your socks and be prepared." What the fuck does that mean? I don't think you've ever written a topic as a question before. Yeah, me neither. Anyway, normally it's just like the topic <clears throat> question mark. Yeah. And not an actual question. So, so anyway, and then the last. Do you? Em- <laughs> <laughs> you got any Pull money? up your socks and be prepared, I guess. <laughs> got any coins Finally realized socks? that Daniel's insane. The last embarrassing thing. I saw of, my grandpa of... say penis. <laughs> oh, I don't know a meme again. I'm back to normal. <laughs> Damn. Is that this Squid- is not a good one. Did Squidward ever say that? Was it Squidward? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I just did a thing. <laughs> grandpa, no! <laughs> Stop doing the Shane Dawson face, Grandpa! Uh, speaking of Grandpa, so the last mm-hmm. embarrassing thing that happened to me was uh, it all happened at a wedding. So I was in a wedding this weekend. It all happened at a wedding. It all happened at a wedding. So I was, was in this? a wedding this weekend, and um, we had the wedding rehearsal on Saturday, and we learned at this wedding rehearsal that my friend who's getting married, married his grandpa was there whom we've never met none of us but we all know because he has made the worst comments on facebook he was there and so all of us all of us like started looking at each other we were like it's grandpa bill and that's just the way we pronounced his name the rest of the weekend in that same cadence but anytime one of us said grandpa bill he looked at us from across the room there's no way he could fucking hear us his ears he had his hearing really aid good. yeah it was like his hearing aid was turned yeah. up to 2000 he had his fucking <laughs> hearing aid turned up to 9000 so that guy probably went home and like his, he was like mumbling to his could caretaker still hear you they were all whispering my name and they were like uh huh nice nice job bill <laughs> Gang, get away from me okay just sit down they kept saying probably, my name he, he up this medication gay guy with the red cheeks i know it i know it that and was then, <laughs> the funniest thing right, about dude. that dude was that this this old dude so first of all he sat down well, okay so okay i'm i'm rambling i'm sorry okay so let's structure no, this like not. an actual story so we arrived <laughs> Once upon a time once upon a time. So we arrive at the wedding on Sunday now, and me and my girlfriend uh, arrive there. We arrive there at the time they asked us to, but everyone's late, so there's no one really there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so we're just sitting down, and I, we're both sitting down. Uh, and then at some point, I get up to go help Chris with something. And in the time that I got up, Grandpa Bill arrives with his young Korean wife, because I can't make this shit up. And he sits down directly next to Riley, and I turned around. I was like, oh, no! Grandpa Bill, <laughs> just see this old ass man, and like he didn't have Start any hair. on your girlfriend. He didn't have any hair on the top <laughs> of his head, but his whole head was wet, not with like droplets, but like a whole swath of water. He was so sweaty you already. Oil slick. And That's the room awesome. we were in was well air conditioned. Um, and so just all the napkins, st- he's, he's sitting at a wedding <laughs> table man. that's set up. He's sitting, he's sitting at a table that's set up for the dinner later after the wedding. He's not supposed to be in there because he's not part of the wedding party. He takes a, two of the nice, that. he takes two of the nice folded napkins prepared for the dinner later. He just picks them up and starts rubbing his fucking Eating head them. with them <laughs> and wiping off all of his <laughs> sweat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Bill! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> They're like the nice, like swan ones folded into a swan. He just bites the heads off of them. <laughs> I just imagine Nick with the old filter on, chewing like you did in that one <laughs> video. It's it's burned in my brain. Anyway, and then we didn't see him after that for like two hours. And then like I'm in the wedding, and I'm we're walking with my person down the aisle, and. The wedding coordinator's next to us, and she's like, is he going to be a problem? And we look to where she's pointing, and Grandpa Bill is in an elevated seat in the back of the rows with a giant, like, green and white umbrella over him and, like, an iPad filming this thing. 
<laughs> just it looks what? absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> like, Bill, where did you get a fucking chair with platforms and a fucking umbrella, dude? Where'd you get this shit? Where is your wife? She was gone. I don't know. Good. <laughs> <laughs> she made her escape. <laughs> He was cheap. He didn't. Yeah, never mind. Anyway, so uh, so. uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Anyway, (laughs) yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, (laughs) oh gosh. Anyway, so that was that was Grandpa Bill, Um, and then uh, so we get to the actual wedding. The wedding goes completely fine. It was very pretty. It all went was very nice. It was really hot, but like thankfully the wind was blowing. It was very nice. Um, So Uh, we get we get done. We get done. The food is served. We start eating the food. I'm in the wedding party, so I'm up front. And then at some point, I go to the table with my girlfriend sitting at and like our friends that are not in the wedding party. And so that's we're just Daniel like talking, goes and drops hanging acid. out. And that's basically what happened. So without getting into too much detail, there was a mistake in the pen passed around, and the wrong thing and it got in our hands. And so um, I thought it was just a regular pen, which would have been fine. I thought but, it was just um, a writing utensil. <laughs> I thought I was just sucking on a, you know, a big old ink pen. Turned out it had weed in it. <laughs> no, it had, it, had, uh, it had some of the crazy psychoactive weed in there, not like regular shit. I thought it was indica, but it was... St- <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so the person... Had higher body high. <laughs> what did <is> it <laughs> So then I killed 30 people at the wedding. <laughs> uh, it was not a dream. It was actually the wedding. It was not a dream. Yeah. So what happened was I'm sitting there still having a good time, but then it hits me at some point. Like I start becoming anxious about shit and I'm like, I was in a good headspace. What's going on? And then I'm like, oh, this is, was this Bill, was dude. something else. This was something else. Bill starts floating around the room. I start just staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Bill is going. <laughs> I know what you did. <laughs> so, so then I killed that motherfucker. <laughs> Grandpa Bill is no longer with us. Grandpa Bill is in the ground. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I turn to my girlfriend and I start reciting Dracula fro- flow from memory. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes roll back. <laughs> well, literally, I started not being able to respond to things, and my girlfriend looks at me. She's like, "Are are you okay?" And I was like, "He went nonverbal." Top shelf, Zaza disrupted my circadian rhythm. <laughs> and she goes, you're "We need to get the fuck like, out of here." <laughs> you're yelling over for like the toast, like the bride and groom cutting the. Cheese. I would like to thank my wife's beautiful family. <laughs> They're they having the first. Not that I'm him. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did he say? You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> They're having the first. He's Smoking having his first. A Whoopi Goldberg dick. <laughs> what? She's <laughs> uh, she's having his first dance with his mom. Like nice bullshit Ed Sheeran playing and I'm like she got the oh, ganja bazoinka doinkas <laughs> like, what the fuck is he saying Fading in and out of consciousness <laughs> <laughs> oh god Dracula flow in Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there like, did you know Bruno Mars is trapped in Vegas because of his death? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, bank accounts are a scam out, created by the shadow government. <laughs> Daniel, shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> he's doing different voices for each thing he said. <laughs> like, I'm doing all the millennial. Like, um, I just did your thing. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel. Uh, don't talk to me until I had my coffee. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> Lena Miranda is actually the voice of our generation. Oh, I start God. singing Hamilton <laughs> during the first dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And they're like, "What the fuck is he doing?" Get him doing out of here! That? Get him out of here! <laughs> I start he doing. doing I start doing in choreography. <laughs> choreography, just hitting it, not throwing a main shot. 
not throwing away <laughs> my. I'm not throwing away my shot. I start doing in the heights in accent, and everyone's like, "Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa!" Dude, easy, easy. <laughs> I, I start singing about my home country of Puerto Rico, and everyone's like, "What the fuck is he on?" <laughs> I'm like, they I gotta call get me back. Senor for nothing. <laughs> uh, anyway, that guy's definitely sober. For sure. Yeah, 100%. so I, I, w- I leaned over to Riley and I'm like, can you please walk me to the bathroom? I don't I think feel I like can I'm do gonna it. die. <laughs> no, I literally, I started feeling awful and I've never had a bad trip because I've never taken crazy fucking weed. Start sinking into the floor. That's how my friends no, you, describe it. What did it, you do? It, did you just do like a blinker or what happened? <laughs> What'd you say? Did you do a blinker or what happened? <laughs> we, I think it was Delta He's 8. like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> And I started. (laughs) (laughs) There's weed in here. (laughs) Stop coughing. (laughs) It was just. It was just like anything. He ate something. (laughs) It was just like a. It was just. It was just a. It was just a toilet paper tube in mashed potatoes or something. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so. Uh Like normally, it does, well, normally it takes me like at least two drags to get like a little high. And I took half a drag of this shit and I started seeing God. And I was like, something's wrong. Something's wrong. It was like an inch away from your mouth still. And you were like, oh. it was like Ghostbusters. I was, I was actually breathing in someone else like after they'd already breathed out. And I was like, whoa. So, uh, <laughs> shut up. Oh my gosh. So uh, she helped lead me to the bathroom. And so I. (laughs) Suck a dick, please. (laughs) He just held the blunt. He's like. (laughs) This feels evil. I'm getting bad vibes, guys. I just looked at Grandpa Bill's joint from across the room. That joint was looking at me funny. Uh, so I'm like, can You're you please help me? Convulsing. <laughs> what the fuck? Daniel's dancing is weird. Anyway, oh so God. Riley starts leading me to the bathroom. Thankfully, at this point, like most of the wedding is done. So I'm not like disrupting anything. Um, she gets me to the door of the bathroom and she goes, can you, are you going to be okay? And I'm like, yep. Can you do it? Do you remember I, how? I, do you I remember stumble, how to use the I, bathroom? <laughs> I stumble into the bathroom, door shuts. Two seconds later, she gets a text that says, please meet me in the stall one. <laughs> <laughs> she walks in. There is only one stall. So <laughs> that's the one I'm in. It's and not even a stall. It's just, it's just a door to a regular bathroom. <laughs> So I'm in she, that one. I'm so right she, here. So she, so she walks up to the bathroom stall. She's in the men's bathroom. This is, I feel bad for her. So bad for her. I and, babe, uh, we're about to get jiggy with it. She, she can already see my legs sprawled out on the floor of the bathroom stall and you're knocks like, I'm on ready, the babe. stall Take door. You're, at, you're not wearing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gripping the tile with my bare pinky toes. No, you're gripping like the top of the bathroom stall. Like you're dangling like bat style. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually tweaking. <laughs> Daniel, when he, he, I didn't actually smoke anything. I just haven't heard Hamilton in 13 hours. He withdraws. <laughs> having withdrawals from history rap. Um, <laughs> so she knocks on the door. She's like, can I come in? And I was like, please. And so she... Dracula? I, she's basically in there with me to make sure... <laughs> Welcome to my chambers. I thought I was just going to pass out and hit my head. She closes the door. I was afraid of hitting my head and like passing out or something. So I just like, I I could feel what felt like, it it basically felt like, like someone pulled the plug out of the back of your head. It felt like I was fighting to like fucking live. Not even just like stay, because I passed out before. I didn't feel like I was falling unconscious. It just felt like that was it. Half a... Drag of a blunt, dude. <laughs> dude, look up the Reddit went. threads. Look up the Reddit threads on Delta it Eight, up. dude. It's insane. It the stories that people have. I'm lucky. I didn't shoot thirty people. <laughs> <laughs> 
me when I smoke too much cilantro. Oh, I'm lucky I only bit my own dick off. It's, it's pretty it's pretty mild when you come to think about it. Anyway, so this lasts this lasts an hour and a half. So during this time, I'm like Just I literally I, at someone's wedding. <laughs> during this time, I I start twitching occasionally. Um <laughs> I can't respond in words. She tries to like she's. I can hear her, but I can't You're respond. Using Morse I'm, code. I'm trying to use words, and I'm literally like moaning. She's like, she's like <laughs> Daniel. She's like, <laughs> she leaves. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's jorking it. He's jorking his penis. Jorking his penis. <laughs> <laughs> I know a meme. <laughs> I know it. I know it. <laughs> so she, I literally can't. It's I, it, I. We're laughing, but I mean, at the time, this was so scary to me that I couldn't. I've never been able. I've never tried speaking I was so and scared. couldn't speak. Stop making fun of me. It was scary. Okay. okay? I'm listening, I'm listening. Gee. Anyway. So <laughs> me, that, me when the weed makes me scared instead of happy. <laughs> <laughs> when you get scared. <laughs> Why did Daniel, I ever think this was Daniel, a safe but... place to talk about this? <laughs> did just, didn't you say you wanted to call the cops at one point? <laughs> Not the cops! <laughs> Arrest me! I did it! I did the marijuana! I killed 30 people, officer! Take me away! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, an ambulance, right? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to call an. I was gonna call an ambulance if she wasn't there because I was afraid of hitting my head. I just thought you said you like you wanted to call nine one one, and immediately I'm like, <laughs> is he like snitching on himself? <laughs> Mr. I President, I smoked weed. <laughs> Forgive me, Joe Biden. Forgive I'm me. Sorry. <laughs> Forgive me, Jill Biden. <laughs> Like nine one one, what's like, your emergency? Is, um... I did it. I smoked it all, <laughs> all of weed ever. I'm freaking out! <laughs> I took all the weed on the planet and ate it. They're like, oh, okay, all man. Right. Well, all right. I am yeah, literally right. weed god right now. <laughs> I don't remember a whole lot of what went down, but it was not funny. High. It was. I was like suffering, and then like it would loop between me fucking not being able to speak and then like weeping for no reason so this was terrible oh, no. at the time <laughs> shut up <laughs> this is funny <laughs> you just imagine daniel it's crying hilarious. breaking down <laughs> dude it was i'm not joking this was so emotionally taxing for both of us at the time but looking back it's so funny the funniest part of this whole thing is that while i'm in the worst of it and then it, it rotates from not being You're able to speak. You're in the fetal position, like on it, the bathroom floor. Well, first of all, I have I have floor. jelly legs and stuff, so I can't move. So she's literally having to like fucking like keep me upright as I'm sitting against the wall. And then uh, the she's funniest part is, stop, please, <laughs> shut up. I didn't say anything. So. It got to a point where I like she was talking basically just to keep me engaged, um, and she joked about her not being funny. She said something like, oh, "I'm I'm unfunny," and I started weeping. And, and you I started was like, laughing. <laughs> You're like, "You're right." Uh, <laughs> no, I started what? fucking crying, and I was like, "What did you I'm say that? With You're so, so funny." <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Fuck you! Funny. I can't believe I me, me, a professional comedian, is with someone as unfunny as you. Ah. She can't compare to me. I'm so funny. I'm just so funny. It Sin or Pequinus. <laughs> That's me. You know how many followers I have? At least 20. <laughs> Yeah, you're sobbing. You're like, don't compare yourself to me. You never could. <laughs> You'll never compete. <laughs> Why are you leaving? <laughs> I'm done telling this story. <laughs> Drops him on the floor. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> continue, continue. You, uh, As you were, you were crying. No. Well, no, anyway, I'm... moving Stop. on. <laughs> no. So, 
<laughs> so at some point it gets good enough that like I feel like I can walk outside. Well, at least she thought I could walk outside. I was like, I, I don't think I can anymore. go. And she's like, I think you can. Let's try to walk outside. And so we kind of walk outside. People are the webinar that was still wrapping up, so we're the only ones outside. And at some point, like two good friends of mine come outside to check on me. And I said, nice to meet you. And they're like, oh, Daniel's fucked up. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was so... Did Uh-oh. anyone know you were greened out in the bathroom or... They knew something was wrong. They didn't know what it was until afterwards we all realized what afterwards, was going on. Afterwards, they were like, he hit a factory reset while he was in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, because the person that gave the me... The bride and groom, he's just like, hello. Good day. <laughs> nice to meet you. Y'all in love Damn! <laughs> Shit! Good for you, What's he Good for doing? you guys. <laughs> so, like, yeah, like, and I was like, nice to meet you. And then I turned to Riley and I, like, I knew I fucked up. I was like, but I know them. And she's like, I know. I know you know. Keep them. walking. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Self aware. <laughs> You were just like smoking fent. Like what? What happened? <laughs> so I did. Daniel oh does fentanyl. God. That's the title of the episode. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude! What actually happened? <laughs> no, because because four days before, you know, be really fun at this really important event. Four days, four days before this wedding, I had smoked some stuff, and and like it oh. was, and it was like like because I was telling Allie about it afterwards, and she was like, dude. What the fuck were you on that you had this reaction? And I was like, I I don't know. And she was like, you literally did. We we because her stuff you is got MK Ultra. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but a- Ali you know was what that means? no. Daniel got MK Ultra. <laughs> Jesus. Uh... That was like government drug testing where they they put like. They, they grabbed a bunch of people off the street, a lot of homeless people, for example, and were like, hey, we're going to give you a bunch of drugs and see what happens. Oh, that's what that... Okay, got it. <laughs> and so Stranger Things is based off of... What? The what fuck is... What? How is Stranger Things based She's on, on that? She's on Fent. Her mom! <laughs> yeah. She's supposed yeah. to be on Fent? Oh, yeah! What are you yeah. fucking talking about? All the kids are doing CP, drugs. That's why she's, like, super strong. <laughs> All the kids are actually 70-year-old homeless people on drugs. They're just, like, in their own brains. That's depressing. Yeah, yeah. No, no, she, the mom is pregnant. You know when you're on that fence? <laughs> <laughs> Your nose is bleeding. I do that. I like dirty carrots. Shut dirty the fuck the up, drug addict. Uh, anyway, so... Um, uh, we we I feel good enough by the time that the send off is happening that we join the send off party. Everyone gets a sparkler, and I'm, I'm like, "This Daniel's thing's like gonna kill me." I'm like, <laughs> "My hand is on fire," and she's like, "No, my hand is dynamite, and I'm about no. to explode." <laughs> the whole time it's lit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, and so everybody holds out the sparklers because they're running down the middle, but, like, my hand is way higher than everyone else's, and Riley had to be like, okay, put your arm down. You throw bit. yours at them? <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Rouge! I'm, like, pouring gasoline on them. They're like, hold on, hold on. Where'd you even get that? You're like oh Frankenstein, like, everybody's just lit, and you're like, oh, oh, and you're just, <laughs> <laughs> Fire bad! At some point, I'm like, my shoes are cooking right now. <laughs> My dogs. Sorry it happened. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm just reporting as I see it. I'm <laughs> so just telling you, you straight up. Cut me some slack, baby. <laughs> I went through the worst day of my life and you're like, could you just not fucking mention your feet for one second? I'm Leave sharing a traumatic event. Have some empathy. <laughs> Good lord. I'm done talking about this shit. What stories do you fuckers have? Good lord. Have, have some empathy. I did drugs, okay? Feel bad for me. I got greened out. Feel bad. Welcome to the episode, everybody. Let's look at Spotify comments. If you oh, leave a oh Spotify my God. comment, if you leave a Spotify comment, we might read it. Um, oh. we, missed a, we missed a couple episodes of polls. So episode 63 poll was voting for which disease kills me, and the one that won was fungus. Thanks, everybody. 51% of people said I should die by fungus. Great. Death by fungus. 
The next one says, um, I was, it was a vote for, should I leave the pigeons alone or kick them out? And for a while, the kick them out pigeons. was winning, but then oh. the last, last poll around, it came back in and uh, leave them alone won with 52%. Wow. So I'll take the Fairly spikes off the small fucking Small margin. Small margin. <laughs> and then last week's was, would you rather Daniel passed out or you see Daniel's freakish finger and 61% of people were actually nice. They said they would rather see my finger than let me pass out. <laughs> it's a weird poll now that I think about it. They wanted to see my finger. They didn't want me. <laughs> they want me so bad. They want my fingers so bad. <laughs> Ew. Um, so let's blow through these pretty quick. Um, first comment, my brain has turned into mush and I can only assume to blame Juliana. I like how they picked me? only you. Or yeah, just I was you. like, wait a minute. <laughs> The next one is has a has a profile picture that's my face, and he says, I got this picture from Daniel's story. It says, my genuine reaction to that information. We drove to Florida because grandparents. This week is SAT testing. I will be listening to you all for it. You failed then. <laughs> Instead of studying, you listen to us. Remember, when I, had, <laughs> Big remember L. when I found your old social media before you like put it on private, and I sent like an embarrassing photo of you from like 2012? <laughs> I should have made that like my me? profile. Yeah, I see. Yeah. I don't remember what you're. No, what are you talking about? This is way back. I remember you. Something <laughs> this was, this was a long time ago. <laughs> I think I should have made that my profile picture on everything. It, what it was picture just a, was it? Just like it, an old it, one from like you in high school or middle school. I don't remember. Middle school maybe. It, it, it was just a very gooberish photo. You were really sweaty in it. <laughs> You you literally were like, I'm going and deleting Facebook right now. All I did was send that photo, and that then you went and, and you went and deleted. It and wouldn't like, have been my it. picture. I think no. I think you were like looking at my mom's Facebook, and I was like, that is your it. mom's. I found your mom's Facebook. <laughs> yeah, like a freak. Because I don't I don't have any pictures what? of me I from high school. That's <laughs> disgusting. Anyway, <laughs> ugh, guess we learned Juliana's a stalker. <laughs> Uh, I never did that to you, Daniel. <laughs> I never did you that dirty. Yeah, may maybe I went and yeah, like you just I found made your fun profile. of my time of need. Oh no, it was <laughs> it was a <laughs> Dude, shut up. <laughs> it was a photo you were tagged in. That's probably what it was. No friends. Yeah. This guy. Everyone hates this guy. <laughs> we didn't say no, that. you anyway. were literally in a wedding party. You want to hear this guy's like, top three no rappers friends. of all time? <laughs> no. <laughs> Number one, uh -uh. Sir Mix a Lot. Uh -uh. Oh Number God. two, Da Baby. Number oh, no. three, Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> That's it. Number three. Uh, the actual historical figure. Like, horrible. Not even... The way the old people pronounce horrible. Horrible. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> Real racist. <laughs> what? The next one says, Ah, yes, I too love wreaking havoc on the local wildlife like an angry god of pestilence in convoluted, almost cartoonish fashion. We are much alike, Eggman. Bless you and the Trinity. So I guess You're wreaking like... havoc on local wildlife was me putting up pigeon spikes. Yeah, it, it's yes. like the road runner. You're Stop. like a cartoon villain chasing chasing the pigeons like they're the road runner. And you're like, get back here. I have a big hammer. It's like Tom and Jerry. They keep hitting me with giant cartoonish anvils. And I'm like, yeah. And then just restarts. Your neighbors are like, there's that guy. Again. There's that fucking voice impressionist again. What an asshole. I hate him slightly less than Matt Fiend. Slightly less. Rat Fiend. Rat, well, that's Rat Fife. We're getting Rat Fife confused. <laughs> Rat Fiend as well, dude. I love how we have code names for all the male comedians we hate. We got Matt Fiend and Rat Fife. Who else? Who else do we hate? Who do we like? Bob Schneider. That's the real question. <laughs> what? Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Rob Schneider. His name is already horrible. You don't even need to do anything. To <laughs> Schneider. That's funny. Next one says, me saying my favorite Hamilton characters are Lafayette and Thomas Jefferson. My brain. Those are real people. You just like David Diggs. <laughs> exactly. True. This is, this is it. Because he's hot. Yeah, well. <laughs> Next one says, hey guys, this Nick's might like, sound familiar. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what any of that know. means. <laughs> no, I don't know. You're you speaking a different Diggs language. Is? No. <laughs> oh. Hot guy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. you never seen David Diggs' balls. <laughs> oh, you haven't? <laughs> What do you mean uh, you haven't? <laughs> Google, show me this guy's balls. 
Good job, um, Daniel. That was a good one. Thanks. Next one says, Jarvis, "Hey guys, show me this man's balls." <laughs> Next one says, "Hey I guys, I can't is believe my... they put the Elon Musk pedophile joke in Iron Man Two or whatever." <laughs> I totally don't remember that. I was like, "No way." I forgot that was about really that. Really good. That was. I can't believe. Wait, he was that, to do was that was that real or be, but because in the clip that I saw going around, like he turned his head when he said it. Like, was that real? Did he say that in Iron Man Two or is that just AI? Like someone added I don't that know, in. but that that video was really oh. funny. He's like, "Pedophile says what?" <laughs> <laughs> I could see that being real. I just don't. I, that sounds like a lot for a Marvel movie, but I would. I was like, I, they it put could that in. <laughs> That's so funny. I'll believe it. And the next one says, "Hey it. guys, this might sound familiar, but I'm a completely different person who's writing a book. It needs background characters, and I want you three in there. Choose to be a human or a demon, please." Oh my god, demon for sure. Demon. <laughs> Hello. I, I guess I'll. Do I need to be the human? I'm just a human that wants do to be I a need demon. To be a human? <laughs> I tape um, on the horns and like the tail, and you guys are just like, "What a uh, fucking Daniel, dumbass!" Daniel, be, be a tiefling. What the fuck that, is that, that? That way, you're like uh, a <laughs> human demon. Okay. You have demon traits. <laughs> it's from uh, right. it's from Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know. <laughs> play Baldur's Gate. It's amazing that I have an OnlyFans with some of the faces I make. I'm amazed anyone is attracted to me at all. Thanks, Riley. Appreciate it. Ain't just your Oof. girlfriend is the only person paying. What are you sharing you, on OnlyFans? Just I know, out of I was like, you're making your girlfriend pay for photos of you. No, I just send her all the ones that I make before I put them on OnlyFans. <laughs> what are you putting on there? Just like the workout, same stuff I was putting on the Instagram subs page, but Instagram was like going to ban me because I was oh, posting okay. shirtless pictures and I was like, well, I'm not going to get banned. So you're not just like slacking no. off on that. I know, no. I was like, you're putting your pee no. out there? No, I would be charging way more than 10 I was just gonna bucks say, you, for my you'd dick. Be making, you'd be making a lot more money if you did. You're no, charging 10 bucks? All 10 people that have subbed to me on OnlyFans so far have all DM'd me and been like, can you please share dick? I will pay more. And I'm like... I'm good, Can you but appreciate pee? that. <laughs> it's crazy. Open peen. <laughs> oh, down the pee hole. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's it. You got to start. You got to no, start. No, yeah, for anyone who doesn't know the joke. So basically, I just, I was it, taking workout pictures, was helping with body dysmorphia during therapy. And I was like, well, I might just post them somewhere. And but Instagram when I put them, said, those nipples were too feminine. But when, I, down. but when I put them on Instagram, like people were like, get this shit off my page. So oh. I put it on the Instagram <laughs> subs page instead, which is like you have to pay to, to be on that part of Instagram. But even then, Instagram was still like, I was like one strike away from Instagram banning my profile because of a private paid tab of shirtless pics. I'm like, there are so many shirtless people and so much more on Instagram. This is I've this seen is boobies crazy. on Instagram. This That's is crazy. Awesome. And the worst thing is, like, it wasn't. It, be, I mean, I imagine it wasn't, it's taken down. But it wasn't. I've seen it, it wasn't. It wasn't people reporting That's horrible. it. Where, where, what account should I not look at? <laughs> what? Who, who put that up there? <laughs> I'll send Who's you one. Who's the degenerate? Because, <laughs> like, every once in a while, I filter by verified. I'm like, who likes my stuff? And it's either like a tech bro with 600 followers or some porn person I've never heard of with like a million and just tits out on Instagram. I'm like, why can't yeah, I like, post one shirtless like picture? I swear to God. Like when my youth group pastor got hacked by that porn, like kick your house. <laughs> <laughs> they were just full on tits and pussy on there. Like, <laughs> Amen. Am I right? <laughs> Alvin was like, am I tweaking? <laughs> Alvin was like, am I tweaking? And then it was like, I looked and it was like her profile photo. It, it, it looked like her, like she had the same that's haircut, the, but then the looked like part, her dude. pussy. And <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I recognize but then it. it. But then I it was her. That puss. It was like the woman in the photo was making like an O face, and then I go and like click on the profile, and the first like five pictures are just straight up porn. It's just like oh, a woman no. jerking it with like a vibrator, like just going go to town. And I was like, oh my god! Sound effects you gave. So many children. <laughs> It's so many okay. children. That's the thing. She was a youth pastor, so it's like all children follow her, like literal children. I was like, oh, uh oh, no. uh oh, Dude, that's uh -oh. awful. <laughs> I remember yeah. in high school, the closest that ever happened was that like the cheer coach accidentally started like recording, like she accidentally uploaded her sex tape to her Snapchat story in uh, high school. Uh, Ooh, oh, that wasn't good. Anyway, that's the closest we got. So Did you get fired. 
Nope, because it's uh, it's a small town and uh, things like that happen. Um, wow. I remember for our well, it didn't happen when I was in high school, but one of our like friend groups they told me that the teacher I just doxed myself the teacher for our high school robotics. <laughs> Mama, robotics. <laughs> Another thing to cut out. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. The teacher uh, from Mimi Moop Moop School. You know, our teacher from Hall University. <laughs> our teacher from Waukee slash University. Stop. No, no. <laughs> Please. Brat, brat, brat. Waukee slash Our teacher from Newport. University. <laughs> Newport. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Newport, Newport High sounds real. That Newport sounds- High does sound real. <laughs> wow, they have it. <laughs> Motherfucking porn. <laughs> That's what they have. I actually breathed and I couldn't inhale. Uh, oh, it's so dumb. Anyway. God. Anyway, so teacher. the next spot. No, oh, yeah. no, I want to no, tell my story. Ah. Interrupting the teacher, him. You let the teacher, him speak. The teacher from our high school uh, for the robotics <laughs> team, he got hacked. <laughs> hacked. But uh, a bunch of students saw that he was following a bunch of OnlyFans models on the school Instagram. <laughs> oh, dude. Holy shit. Do you want to hear a crazy story? What's up? Holy fucking shit. This is wild. This blew my fucking mind. I learned it this weekend at the wedding. Okay. What? Oh, the high school drama. <laughs> yeah, dude. Can you not laugh at me? No, I'm, I'm not laughing at I'm you. Kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That wasn't... I, I immediately glitch and me. hang up. <laughs> Daniel's like, got a story. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I've had this dude remembered YouTube. something. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> this dude got a like, memory. I've had <laughs> <laughs> no, so I was at the wedding and we were, we started talking about school because that's where we met most of these people was in school, mm-hmm. and we were. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anyone's name. I'm not gonna dox anybody. But so we learned, so there's a friend in our group and he was like, one day I got a call after college from our university and they said, hey, we're not, we're not pursuing anything official, but we just wanted to let you know that there was a teacher that accidentally shared the wrong screen during a class and he um, had a file for pictures of ex-students from their Facebook profiles without their shirts on and you were in oh. there. Oh. We just want to let you know, uh, and this guy accidentally shared this file. Like he literally just had a whole file of Aww. pictures that he stole from Facebook of ex students being shirtless or in skimpy stuff. Men, all of them were men. Sorry, it's L for the gays today. Anyway, <clears throat> so. <laughs> not at all what we were thinking. <laughs> Sorry. Oopsie <laughs> daisy. Not the fact that he was a creep, but he was a gay creep. Can you believe that? What a shame. What a shame. Well, I, I, I had a gay friend, and when I was telling him the story, he was like, damn it. I was like, why are you thinking of that? Giving us a bad name. So fucking funny. Anyway. So, but the funniest thing about this Pick picture was... Be gay funniest, or be creepy. The funniest <laughs> thing... The, stop. The funniest thing about this picture that he nabbed my friend from Facebook was that it was him shirtless with a rubber ducky inflatable around him. And he had to... The ducky has to be in the picture or else you couldn't get his chest. So his girlfriend was was like, we're talking about the story. And his girlfriend's like, I'm just laughing, thinking of this guy jorking his dick and trying to cover up the duck part. <laughs> just seeing him. Anyway, That's that, was, that was crazy. And that guy still works there. Didn't get fired. They didn't do anything. Huh, they didn't do anything. That is a really his, weird thing to just have pop up in the middle of class. His, and you're like, he, hmm, these people went teacher, to school with yeah. me last year, didn't they? That that, te- that teacher's excuse. <laughs> that teacher's excuse was, oh, these all these students are now models, and I just want to support my ex students in their modeling endeavors. Models with the None of them are models. <laughs> yeah, dude, <sighs> it's disgusting. That dude should be fucking. That that guy needs to be investigated, Wait, man. So you were a part of it, or your friend was a part of it? 
like that folder. No, my friend was a part of it. I didn't have that guy as a teacher, Aww, so he didn't he didn't know bummer. who I was. I was so you jealous that he didn't included. have my pictures in there. <laughs> what I the wasn't hell? included. What the hell? <laughs> that was like my friend's old like their they they go to like a I mega s- church and there was like <laughs> you know their their church like youth pastor what? was a was a creeper <laughs> and he creeped on a bunch of girls and one of my friends was like I can't believe he didn't pick me. That guy was so cool. I, I tried to hang out with him all the time. I wanted it to be me. I was like, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Those are victims. Those are victims. <laughs> I, I start DMing this teacher from a different account. I'm like, you should check out Senor Pequeños. And he's like, no, thanks. And check I'm like, my old why oh, no. not? <laughs> you ever heard of him? You heard of that guy? I was, kill he, ya. was he ever your uh, student? You want to see him shirtless? You want to see your ex-student shirtless? I could send you his you shirtless him, pictures. You peddle him to OnlyFans. <laughs> He's like, ah, it seems expensive for a chest like that. I'm like, it's you shut your it. whore mouth. <laughs> Here's a discount gold. <laughs> you get one dollar <laughs> off for 30 code. days. <laughs> there is a discount out right now. It's one dollar off. What? You hear that? You hear that, everybody? You're charging ten dollars, and you're not even showing penids. <laughs> <laughs> oh please, dude! A ten dollar penis ain't worth looking at. I tell you what, <laughs> save your ten. Anyway, the next you comment don't see on the, the little Spotify. Naked rat? <laughs> you don't want to see the dead turkey face. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that meme that you sent? Didn't Balls you send included. that to us? Of the, of the turkey head with his eyes rolled back and it was like, babe, just play with it. <laughs> Disgusting. I thought it was a mole rat. <laughs> no, that was a fucking dead turkey. Oh, I'm going to find that picture. You, I think you missed something because this okay. picture was genuinely disgusting. It's burned into my brain. Anyway. Oh, you know what? Riley sent that to it me, was, which is you were like, so you know much what? funnier was, because we're dating. <laughs> you're like, you know what? It's, it was an actual dick now that I think about it. Uh, it, it was a really a gross dick and balls. <laughs> a really gross That's one. That's redundant. They are already disgusting. Anyway, next comment says, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a Daniel by his freakishly long toe. If he hollers, let him go. All right. Uh, the feet again. The yeah, return of the bring feet. It up. <laughs> I'm going to hang up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> next one says pequeño pod i'm crazy now the past few weeks had some crazy dreams one dream i had was of daniel standing at the end of my bed and saying erm what the sigma over and over <laughs> <laughs> and of juliana's hell house oh the haunted house daniel's just the paralysis demon at the end of the bed <laughs> what the sigma i don't even know what that's from <laughs> I don't know Just if that's from rot, anything. Dude. Yeah, I was like, I don't think that's from That's anything. why I don't give a shit about the brain. Dude, my for you page is awful. It's so cool. It's cool. <laughs> I gotta show you guys one day. It's genuinely like so like unhealthy for me to go on TikTok right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. The next one says, love your guys' podcast. You are genuinely some of the funniest raccoons in a trench coat I've ever listened to at 530 in the morning. Thanks. Thirty. Starting your day off with this. I know. <laughs> oh, like, wow. <laughs> I know some people. Some people just play this on their commute to work. That's it, insane. It blows my mind. I'm so sorry. People who listen to us have jobs. Anyway, the next <laughs> one says. Part. <laughs> Sometimes I forget how funny you guys are, and then I'll hear something like "Mountain Doom" or see Daniel's front-facing <laughs> Phineas-looking face and lose my shit. Love this podcast. Phineas <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, Mount. What was the MF Doom? And I said yeah, Mount you're like, Doom. You're like, you're like I don't what's know what that, that says? Mount Doom. Doom? <laughs> <laughs> the next one says, I'm going to be stuck thinking about Daniel's freakishly long middle finger. Love and hate this podcast. <laughs> oh. Next one says, I'm fully accepting the diabetic. I'm fully accepting the diabetic devil as my alter ego now. I roam the streets injecting evildoers with 200 units of insulin, sending them careening into a diabetic coma. I'm like daredevil with eyes. <laughs> with eyes. <laughs> That's so funny. Too dangerous. Uh, that's fucking funny. Anyway, the next one says, I am the eyebrow person. Um, oh, the I'm person the eyebrow that was, man. I did finish the episode, Daniel. Thank you for your non-existent concern. And I did stop after I finished it. <laughs> Whoops. Con- it. What? 
Do you don't remember this? So last episode, hold on, let me find it. My right eyebrow has been twitching since you've released this episode. I'm either gonna cut my own eyebrow open or never finish this episode. And then I was like, huh, moving on. And you guys were like, hold on. Oh, I remember. That... Awful. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, oh, oh. That jogs my memory. Next one says uh, in all caps, Daniel, add me back, you bitch ass. I want your tomfoolery. I will personally come inside you if I am not Shapiro on. Oh, oh, oh. oh my oh. gosh. How did this that make it through threat. the filter? Yeah, I was like, that Good is a Lord. Threat. Jesus. No, I'm not going to add you back. Fucking ass. Have them pay for your uh, sub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll do whatever you want then, baby. Just kidding. For 10 bucks? <laughs> I'm a whore. He's a cheap whore. Good lord. <laughs> yep. That buys three bags of peas. Um, the Only next one three? says, actually, I, I think bags of peas are like a dollar, so that could get a lot more. Phew. Oh, thank Phew. goodness. Oh, I getting nervous. Uh, uh, Daniel can eat for another month now. <laughs> Next one says, all I have to say is that this podcast gets me through the day, but also gives me an odd feeling. Besides that, I hope you all have a nice day. A feeling oh. of dread. <laughs> I feel yucky after listening to this. Next one says, I need to Dan- shower every time. <laughs> Next one says, Daniel's ex-boyfriend's in order. Number one, Justin, also Nick's ex. Number two, Kevin Saxby, the Canadian. Number Did three, you say Justin, like no, no last name? No, no last, last name. name. Just, I don't know who the hell that is. Okay. <laughs> Number three, Daniel's brother, incest points. Number four, the cafeteria guy who deprived Dan Man from crackers. Oh, that's a deep cut. That's a deep cut. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> Who's Justin? Oh! Justin, uh, Justin, these nuts. <laughs> uh, I don't Are, you proud? Are you proud of it? Are you proud of it? No, I'm serious. Who were we talking about? Do I have to cut this out? Justin! Oh, yeah, Justin, sorry. You're like, oh, your friend, Justin. <laughs> sorry, you should have said not white Justin. I probably would have immediately known who you're talking about. Oh my about. gosh. Justin's such the a white name. I was like. on this show. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally based off of people on this show. Anyway, Hello? next Spotify comment. <laughs> what? Hello? Hello? <laughs> I thought I, I heard knocking, but it might have been the apartment next to me. I think it was just someone drunk. It was that guy the halls. feeding the yeah. pots and pans. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, talking about me. <laughs> it's the guy that ran into his other door. He just ran into my door. Um, and then the last, the last one here says, "I will always love y'all's chaotic brains." Speaking of chaotic brains, my brain is plagued by the fact that the human ashes act like Mentos and soda. Have fun with that. Oh, okay. Ew. I didn't know that. Well, do? that's fun. What In makes what it, aspect? What makes, yeah, I know. I was like, what makes it... Like, Has it someone just makes... poured soda on human ashes, or...? I think it means if you pour ashes in soda, it explodes the soda like Mentos would. That's what I... I mean, that's what I assumed, but I'm like, what in it oh. would make it? I, I, said, uh, I said I would read um, some top Instagram comments or, like, sub, like submissions on the, on the podcast, so I've not looked at these... They could be terrible. This one says, I am Mitch McConnell. Please feed me poor people. <laughs> mm, right. Has he died yet? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, apparently. The next apparently. one says the eclipse next one says the eclipse was just God showing a hole. That's awesome. Thanks. <laughs> next one says, I heard in my balls. Fuck. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Good show. Uh, next one says, Do you think God doesn't talk to us because he's scared of his own creation? That wasn't funny. That's just sad. That's just Come on, not guys. funny. That's just That's a Spy Kids reference. Anything happened to you guys over the last few weeks? It's been uh, a while. My dad got harassed by a homeless person. Oh. oh. <laughs> Does your dad ever not get harassed? Poor it was guy. pretty funny. I'm not going to lie to you. We were, at a, oh. we were at a Mexican restaurant. We just ate. We pulled out from there. And we're in the parking you lot. What? <laughs> you what? We're in the parking lot, and this, like, lady comes up, and it scared me because she came to my mom's side, and she, like, pounced on the window, and my mom was just like, oh, "Oh my God, it caught us off guard. We didn't see her. So she just kind of appeared knocking on our our window, and our our passenger side window was broken, so, like, we couldn't even lower it if we wanted to, but my mom just kind of, like, ignored her, and so the lady's like, and she walks around to my dad's side, and instead of, like, just... (sighs) lowering it like a bit my dad just lowers the window all the way which like first of all what are you doing dude (laughs) one second ma'am one second (laughs) before you continue 
I mean, let me get this all the way down so I can be face to face. Wait, where the hell did Daniel go? I don't know. I think he has another knock. What if a completely different, like, scary looking person sat down? Scary Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> He's an alter ego. He goes back like this. <laughs> He's so scary. I hate peas. <laughs> oh no! I eat what? good. <laughs> I, I have full well. meals. <laughs> what happened to our boy? No, bring him back. <laughs> eat shit. Okay. Jeez. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. So yeah, no, we're at the restaurant. The lady comes, knocks on my mom. She what? The lady walks around. <laughs> Knocks on my mom's uh, window. Window doesn't close. Window doesn't open. She walks to the other side, walks to my dad's side. Knocks on the window. My dad's like, oh, visitor. So he lowers the window all the way down. He opens the door. <laughs> Come, on. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> so he lowers the window. And the lady in Spanish. Well, first of all, she like freaked me out because she had this little, you know, like in movies. Or mm, maybe not movies. You know, in haunted house. Have you guys gone to haunted houses before? Like mm -hmm. the attraction ones daniel you've never no. been to one nope daniel we gotta go to one come on well, i haven't had go friends that live here so no i'm not gonna go to one by myself well, now you have a girlfriend yeah now we can this year and it's october is coming october uh, october shut what 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 <laughs> I, I genuinely <laughs> thought you said that it sounded like you said that no. i said <laughs> rewind october it dude rewind, is rewind coming. the footage I there is I'm gonna fuck everyone. I heard it too. Coming. I heard it too. If I said cocktober, I thought you were thinking I'm sorry. I swear I'm not an acid still. Right before Dick Sumber. Can everyone leave me the fuck alone? Okay, okay. Tell your story. I'm trying, but you say things like cocktober and I giggle. I did not say cocktober. <laughs> Dick Sumber. His rocker. <laughs> Um, anyway, you know how, well, okay, well, I get, <laughs> she, she jump scared. <laughs> Lively. You know how, like, some actresses and, like, these haunted houses things put on, like, creepy little voices? Vaginuary. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Tangle, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I just realized what you said. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. <laughs> You're just brainstorming another one. <laughs> one second, one second. Penis a lie. <laughs> oh. Oh. God. I'm anyway, so sorry. My point, my point was like at haunted houses, some of these act like the horror actresses will put on like creepy little voices to freak you out. That's how this lady sounded, but she was speaking Spanish, but she put on like this creepy little like baby voice. Really uh, yeah, me I, out. That's oh exactly gosh, the that's one terrifying. I pictured. I literally and like the so, <laughs> Yeah, no, so she came up to me and like uh, so it was in Spanish, but she's like, Excuse me, sir, I need money for food, but it was like creepy, so it's like Excuse me, sir. It was just really <laughs> off putting. It's, she she's like the first time Nick's heard a woman's voice that's no, slightly dude, higher. This lady, this lady was in her <laughs> like forties or fifties. Like she's, she's old, but she comes up and she's like, "Excuse me, sir, I, I I need money for food." Mind you, we're at a restaurant, and my, my dad even offered. He's like, "You want me to buy you food here?" And she's like, "No, I I want to eat somewhere else down the street." And oh, my dad's like, no. "Do oh, they have oh. heroin there?" <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Sure, and like you know that audio, <laughs> that that audio where it's just like in Spanish, like the women chanting like some kind of spell, like witch spell. And I'm just imagining yeah. her saying that, like coming up to your car. Dude, it was so creepy. But like, my, and then like my dad with like the full window down. So I'm like, dude, we're gonna what die. This is it. I'm never gonna see anyone ever again. She's choking. But she's like, oh, can I get some money for food? And my dad even offers like, oh, I could buy you food here because we're at like a Mexican restaurant. And she's like, I want to eat further down there. And my dad starts explaining. He's like, well, I don't have any cash on me, but I'll get you next time. And before he could even finish that, she's like, I don't even know what you're saying. And she walks off. Oh, my God. In <laughs> so a full she, man voice. In full, in full, in full, full English. English, dude. In full English. <laughs> <laughs> so she's talking and like, she's like, Señor, necesito. And then, like, dude, she says her whole little spiel. And then, like, when my dad... <laughs> My dad replies in Spanish, and then she, in English, she's like, I don't even know what you're saying, and she walks you. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Holy like, shit. What? Oh, my gosh. Me. 
Have you seen that? Have you seen that video of the, like the old, the really old, like British hag, like trying to open that car door Do window? Do you like me? Oh, the and the one. captions and the <laughs> captions are like she sounds like a Call of Duty zombie or something. <laughs> have you not seen that one? Yeah, where she's like actually sounds like with the deepest yeah. voice ever. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, "What so are you scary. doing?" And then she's like, "Oh, Zimbabwe." <laughs> and then you're like, "Huh?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, people scare me, dude. There's some dude. like really freaky ones. Uh, have you seen? There's that one pastor. He he bought like Tyler Perry's jet or something. Do you guys know who I'm talking about? Yeah, that guy. Oh my gosh, Kenneth that guy. I, I think that's his ew. name. Ew. Yeah. Ugh. He's so, oh my god, lively. You have to see this. Dude, he is the ugliest man. No, you he's know him the song. He looks like the What's devil, his dog. He's, he is the he's fucking so devil. scary looking, dude. He's the devil. What's his- I gotta see this man. Kenneth Copeland, there's a famous interview where he, she asked him a question. He threatened the interviewer after like, the plane. Don't you did you see this interview? Did <laughs> so the, yeah, did you see this interview? Yes, yes, the Dude, whole thing. my gosh. He's Lively like, if you, you ever say that I did that. Oh, I've seen this guy. Okay, I have seen him. <laughs> immediately, so I, immediately, I recognize him. I've, I've seen him in memes. <sighs> where it's like, white man jump scare. There's some old people who genuinely, like, they, they look uncanny. It's like, they do look... <laughs> you get old they look turn demonic. <laughs> yeah, it's like some <sighs> something about them looks like what I see in the corner of my bedroom. Like, when, with my lights uh, on. Rewind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? 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 You guys don't see faces, like, all the time when you're falling asleep. No. You're, you're lying. Your Have house you never is cursed, Riley. Get the fuck out of there. Lively. Have you guys... You, but you guys have never had sleep paralysis Lively, ever? Lively, it's going to be one no. in the morning. Please don't say things like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know the faces in the corner of your room? You know, they're no. all demon faces in the corner. <laughs> yeah, well, fucking no wonder. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, this isn't my room. You know I sleep on the sofa. This I isn't my room. This isn't my house. Where else? I had yeah. sleep paralysis one time when I lived at my old house and we used to have... He used to have to go upstairs to go to my room, and I remember, like, waking up, but I couldn't move, and I could slowly hear, like, just loud, like, heavy, like, footsteps slowly, like, coming up the stairs. Freaked me out so bad, I hated it. That's the one and only time I had it, but that was it. Like, look up Sleep Paralysis Hag, No, and that's, like, very accurate to- I see that all the time. All the time. I'll get up tomorrow morning, but not now. (laughs) Thank you. That's fair. That's fair. Have you ever heard of I like, like how the whole beginning of this episode was lively being like, oh, you saw shit on drugs? Yeah, idiot. Anyway, you know, I'm you seeing old hags in the corner of my room. You know the <laughs> hag dancing in the corner? I see it sober. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, Daniel, I take drugs to see the devil? I don't have to take anything. I see that shit sober. I see that shit sober and awake. I'm looking it up. I don't care. I don't. I'm not looking it up. <laughs> um, Daniel, something happened to John the other day that reminded me of like a you story oh, no. with like, well, Great. not no, it's not, it's not bad. It's just like the awkward exchanges with, you know, customer service workers. Like oh, yeah. they're not, they're not doing anything wrong. It's just an awkward exchange. Like John went and picked up food for my cousin and my aunt and him, and when he got there, he was like, he was like, pick up for John, and the guy was like, oh yeah, pick up for John, and then he turned and like looked at John. And just stopped and like dropped the bag of food he was holding and just stared at John for like 20 seconds, horrified, like kind of like trembling a little and was like, <gasps> and then John was like, um, yeah, the, it, pick up for, pick up for John. And the guy's like, oh my gosh, I thought you were someone else. And then handed him the food and then, and then he just left. What the fuck? Back what? in the kitchen. <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck? I don't know. It wasn't. That guy it wasn't definitely a... had nightmares about a guy that looked like John, and he just yeah, realized. Yeah. That. I mean, it How wasn't. How could you Italian... have nightmares about John? Look at him. I mean, a it wasn't large Italian... Italian man. Just. It was an Italian restaurant, so I'm what? like, was there like a scary a Italian pussy. guy who came in there at one point? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that that just reminded me of something that would happen to you. But yeah, John said he stared at him, what? and it was like, and and he wait, said he wait, just stared what, like that. When has something like that happened to me? I don't know. You said you said that woman looked at you at the at the desk and was just star- staring at you and was like, <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> oh, that did happen. <laughs> yeah, and then I said like an idiot Department of Health instead of date of birth. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, because their stuff says uh, DOH on it, right? And then you're like, yeah, date of her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> any, 
anyway, <laughs> Patreon notes. <laughs> Cause it's one in the morning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not, you know, I'm not. That's not why I was saying it. It was just a silence, and I'm like, I don't know what to do here. Is he frozen, or is this a bit? I don't. Know. <laughs> I, I thought you were someone else. God, dude. <laughs> that's a pretty good one. Thanks. Uh, first note from Catalyst. Uh, pee pee poo poo penis pod note. Wee oui, wee oui, bonjour, fellow queefers. Okay, I'm back from my excursion <laughs> to Texas for the eclipse. Wee wee wo wo We all know about totality and have seen pictures, so I will not bore you with that. But what I do want to talk about I mean, is I'm billboards. I mean, I'm kind of jealous. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, it did look pretty cool. As a Canadian from one of the western provinces that is most often compared to a U.S. state due to its social culture, I was not sure whether to expect something like my home province or something completely different in terms of the general culture and attitudes of the people. But what shocked me was the number of billboards advertising various injury law firms. We went to Houston, oh, Dallas, yeah. Fort Worth, San American, Antonio. Like... <laughs> yeah. Very we American. To... Yeah. Capitalism <laughs> everywhere. Can't even enjoy the fucking road trip. San <laughs> Antonio during our five-day trip. And every single time we saw bigger, louder, and more ridiculous billboards along the interstates for various injury law firms. My favorite one was two lawyers standing shirtless with WWE belts over their shoulders with a caption along the lines of, Gomez Law Fights. And we win. <laughs> I know exactly over the I- what the reference. <laughs> uh, do you really? That's crazy. Over the I ten, heading east into Houston, I, uh, we had billboards in Canada, but nothing that big or creative, and especially not that many. We saw hundreds of these things. My question for you is: If you had to design a billboard for your own law firm, criminal or civil, what would be on it, and what would your caption be? I feel like Daniel would have a Swiffer in his ass, and the caption would be, we will sweep uh-huh. away your misdemeanors, but I don't know. I hope everyone is slowly feeling better, and I hope my fellow patrons are recovering from exams. Love you all. All my love and peace, Catalyst. Yeah, I hope Thanks. everybody's exams went well. Exactly. Is it is it finals time? Finals are over? Something Ooh. in there. I haven't had to go to school in so long. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Stop. I don't care about other people. <laughs> I've learned I don't have to care about other people. I also started keeping my money to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I, I don't know what I would say for mine. As it, I, you put me on the spot. I can't come up with, with anything. I think I just we... want to copy that one lawyer. I don't even think it was a lawyer. I think it was just a prank. But there's like a billboard up. I think it was in California. I don't know if it's still up. But it just says, Injured? Good. <laughs> no, so there's nothing else on it. <laughs> so it's just a guy with his like arms crossed. <laughs> I always just thought Nick that. Have you, have, you seen, looking? <laughs> have you seen the Jungle Law billboards before? Jungle Law? Uh oh, I haven't. I think I know what you're talking about. The I'm signs sure. never made any sense to me because she's standing there with her arms crossed, and she, the caption is "Harassed at work? Me too." Jungle Law. And it makes it sound like she was harassed at Jungle Law. I'm like, I'm not gonna hire you guys if she you got <laughs> Me too. Right here. <laughs> right here at Jungle Law. <laughs> I guess that would be mine. Mine would be Baboon Law and just a picture if... of a baboon. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no number. Just keeping people wondering. Podcast note from Zen. Went to orientation for my new job. First day out of my house in about a month, and the weather was nice. After a couple of heavy storms, it felt amazing and cool outside. Clear skies and a nice breeze. All was going well. No intrusive nice. thoughts. Until I was you... met with the ancient aluminum gates of Morak Trumbull. Ancient as <gasps> metal maw of the back rooms. The kind of elevator that if you look at it long enough, you think you're still inside of it. Can't get this shit out of my head. Please help. Um, and then they sent a link. Where the Do hell I was really that at? want to see this? Yeah, I was like... Well... I There's can't show it demons in it. Because it has I can't their show name you it, but... because the demons will the be demons released. The demons told me not to show you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> next note from Corky Gal. Uh, it says, "Read in mysterious voice." Um, oh, Ooh. what You're is Daniel. a mysterious voice? Um, oh. like a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> like a wizard? <laughs> read it read it in the The, the like, Elk Show <laughs> <laughs> It's a wizard time, motherfucker! Firebomb <laughs> oh, okay. Uh read um, it in like the Michael Jackson thriller uh, narrator. Oh, I thought it was like name. Michael Jackson. <laughs> the Ochoa, oh, a mythical yeah, read, it, read it like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> 
The Ochoa O, a mystical and worshipped relic, a piece of the past so powerful that no one who has seen it can recall its details. Just about well, we, worship it. <laughs> we worship it, we fear it, respect the O and power the sphincter holds. Ah. <laughs> uh. It sounds like some Elden Ring dialogue. It <laughs> That'd be so fun to voice any character in a video game. Ugh. I just buy that video game and just do that one action over and over again just to hear myself talk. <laughs> Next note from Low. Pod note, I was laying in bed with my cat when you said that y'all will be recording soon. I didn't feel like typing and was falling asleep. So I just sent what I was thinking about at the time. Anyway, here's a poem that was inspired by my cat, uh, Nyx, my little demon. In the shadow deep, a black cat prowls, with eyes of gold it silently growls. Through moonlit nights it roams and plays, and stealthy steps it slinks and strays. It dances on fences, jumps on roofs, leaving behind its paw print proofs. It teases mice and taunts the night, with every move it's full of delight. But as the dawn begins to break, its owner wakes, no move to fake. With gentle hands and loving care, the cat is caught, no need to scare. For through its mischievous, wild and free... For though it's mischievous, wild, and free, in its owner's arms it longs to be. With purrs of contentment it settles down, in love and warmth no need to frown. So let the black cat roam and play, for in the end it finds its way. Back home where love and care reside, with its owner by its side. The end. I got nothing else to say so other awesome. than pee pee poo poo ha 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 ha. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. How, I like how, how you, you were say- like... I they're like, think oh, of I'm, anything. Too, I'm too tired to type anything. Oh, I'm too tired. I can't think of anything. Anyway, here's, here's an novel. eloquent poem with five strings. That's insane. I, I don't know how you just pulled that out of nowhere that quickly. Yeah, literally. What Jeez, you're, you're falling asleep. You're like, oh, I got nothing. In um, the not shadows deep, a black cat prowls. <laughs> this whole thing. Jeez, Louise. Beautiful. Also very wholesome. Now we follow up that wholesomeness with a mega big ass titans note. <clears throat> uh huh. Pod- the podcast P note. I would like to express my feelings today and say I am horny for Cake and Alexis Texas. Yeah, did you get to see her? <laughs> you got you got to see her. Did you did you see her big Texas ass? <laughs> <laughs> She's talking to mega big ass titans. Just for everyone's information. She's not talking to either of us. <laughs> She's she wouldn't to be talking server. to either of us because neither of us went to a board convention, that's for sure. I'm crying, uh, dude. Whew. All right. Oh my gosh. Two oh my more gosh. Notes. You know what's so funny? Like, I, I was t- I was telling John about about there being a motherly individual there and Uh John literally guessed who it was like that was literally (laughs) all I said were those two words I was like I was like he said she was very motherly and he was like oh was it and I was like no way and my mom was like hold up John's like I remember her from her motherly porn why why does he know that my mom my mom was what? like, hold up, hold up. And then, and then John was like, no, 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 she has a famous podcast with a sports guy. I know it because of sports, I swear. And no, I was like, that oh, makes oh. sense. That makes sense uh-huh. with John. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, it, it checks out, but it's a little sus. It's a little John sus. John would know a porn to... star from a sports podcast. All, right, right. What a loser. I was, like, I was like, all I had to say was motherly. I was like, yeah, apparently she was really nice, a very motherly. And he was like, was it? And I was like, oh, <laughs> yes, it Why, well, yes, it was. That's she so was like, no funny. way she was there. I was like, oh. <laughs> That reminds yeah. me. That reminds me of like when Mia Khalifa transitioned yeah, to like just, a sports. Just, like, I was like, I was like, that's exactly what I said to John. I was like, yeah, and I only know Mia Khalifa because she does like NHL commentary. Like, she doesn't do that anymore, right? Now she's like a professional um, model. Yeah, I, th- I think she just does only and like fans yeah, and internet modeling. commentator and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> anyway, I yeah. don't, and I don't fucking look like her. I, I look nothing like <laughs> I that. I knew you were woman. gonna say that. I was waiting for you to say it. <laughs> Uh, next note from C Clan. For okay, any of so the here's... fucking weirdos who come up to me <laughs> <laughs> and say, "Have I seen you before?" I I don't even fucking look like her. <laughs> you really don't. I don't. I don't. I, I literally look nothing. They see eyebrows and they're like, "Boobies." That's literally all like, it what? is. It's just the eyebrows, and that was not even like that's a stretch, yeah. but. 
Next one says, Anyways. okay. Next one's from C Clan that says, okay, here's a real question. No more hee-hees or ha-has. I want your actual opinions on this. Mm-hmm. This truly cool. has nothing to do with anyone's opinion on a conflict that's going on right now in the Middle East. Oh. And more with how like-minded people come together sometimes without a specific vision in mind. So here in Seattle, at our huge international airport, a group of protesters <laughs> sat in the middle of the highways leading to the arrivals and departures of drives, effectively shutting down yes, the airport for hours. Happened. Before police started hauling protesters off and towing their cars, KOMO4, local ABC News subsidiary, oh, Como, came out and yes. started interviewing some of the protesters. It was interesting seeing that some of the protesters had really well articulated and considered arguments regarding their feelings towards the whole conflict, but most ended up effectively only being able to say one side bad or just straight up walked away. Many people online are pointing to the segment, saying that many protesters only have a surface level understanding of any particular issue and just the community of it. Here's a short clip of the interview. Like last time, remove the hashtag after YouTube and replace it with a dot. What do you guys think? And I know for a fucking fact, this is not like any of the fart? shit he fucking talked about. This MF clearly didn't listen to the last episode. <laughs> he, or maybe he just likes inconvenience in you. I have an Terrible. ad. You got an ad. You ruined <laughs> It's still going. <laughs> What's the ad for? Fall Guy, the movie. Uh-huh. It's just Sonic. It. <laughs> it's like this. I don't feel like. <laughs> the full song. The end. Living in we're gonna get copyright strike. I'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna take it out. It's uh, bad in most our lives. Okay, there this is go. a real question. Who wins the worst diss song of 2024, Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole? Keep in mind, both of the songs were unbelievably boring. My Instagram is <laughs> at cock. You're correct. I didn't <laughs> listen to them yet, so I, I didn't, didn't have an actual them, answer. So. I'm going to say J. Cole because J. Cole's a little wussy boy. He basically... Yeah, but J. Cole... No, in, in J. Cole's defense, oh, I, I've never been a J. Cole fan, but in his defense, he used Meat Canyon in one of his songs. And he, he gets little, little cool. brownie points for that. Oh, J. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who we're talking about. I've never heard of J. Cole. <laughs> uh, you have Nope. I literally sent a video about him yesterday. Well, I didn't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that's have. obvious oh, no. Oh, that's J. Cole. I didn't know oh, what he looked guy. like. Last note from Violet. So here's the first part in French and then the translation. Uh, I'm going to screw this up. We already know that. Coucou les petits bros. Aujourd'hui, je vous présente une petite sélection de chansons, films et comédies. I know what those two words are. Yeah, I was like, I was like, all right, hmm. I'm translating very little of that in my mind. Films et comédies musicales francophones. Je peux pouvoir peut-être vous faire concevoir une petite partie des références par franco par <laughs> Hello, Peas. Hello, Peas. Today I present you a small selection of French speaking songs, films, and musicals. I hope I can perhaps help you discover a small part of your, fr- fr- of your French speaking references. So there's some songs in French, and examples are <laughs> I know French by music by Isa. I'm well aware of the French. Nick's like, I know, I know French men. I'm oh. very well aware of French people, dude. Trust me. You do? <laughs> oh, well, what, what do you mean you're doing? <laughs> he just Daft pointed to the Daft Punk. punk. Justice, Kavinsky, the French Gisafi Robo Steen. Man, dude. There's so many. I like a lot of French music, though, like French spoken music. Even Strome, I like Strome. Yeah, there's Wow 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 by Joika, uh, Karim Eledoup by Karim Oilet, Rest by Jims and Sting, uh, Des Espetes by Alain Francois, and then French and French Canadian movies. Er-er. A what, 2004 the, comedy Wait, thriller. what's that one French song where he's like, Moe, Moe. Shut up, run, run, run. Moe, I forgot yeah. what his that name dude, is. I, I knew who that was. The Hold dude on. with the missing teeth. Yeah, he's missing two front teeth. Yeah, what yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> that's the guy who sings it. <laughs> Dan is like, that's uh, made up. <laughs> <laughs> Not real. Fake. Uh, bon, bon Cop, Bad Cop, a 2006 comedy bon action. Bon Cop, Bad Cop. It's a Canadian black comedy thriller buddy cop film about two police officers, one Ontarian and one in Quebec, 
who reluctantly joined forces Sounds to solve funny. a murder. The dialogue is a mixture of English and French. The title is a translate is a translation wordplay on the phrase "good cop, bad cop." Uh, yeah, that sounds funny. Oh, I want to watch Vampire Humanist Shall Suicide Their Consentant. Uh, uh, oh. A comedy drama <laughs> fantasy. Sasha is a teenage vampire who... St- Never mind, I don't want to watch it. <laughs> Sasha is a teenage vampire. <laughs> you don't want to watch the teen vampire movie? <laughs> is a teenage vampire who struggles with the morality of killing people for their blood. However, after her parents cut her off from her blood supply... <laughs> Relatable. She enters a pact with Paul, a suicidal and very depressed boy, on the condition that she must spend the night helping him finish the things he still wants to do before he dies under her (laughs) mouth. (laughs) Oh, under (laughs) her mouth. (laughs) Good lord, that's dark. Okay, we have to end. What are we ending on the call with? Wow, that was a sentence. I guess we'll just end it there. And And myself. (laughs) (laughs) And I didn't take the fucking chair. Okay. Anyway. What? I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> the hotel chair. I know it was a it was a good chair. I was gonna use it to hang myself with. Oh my god! <laughs> Back to square one. <laughs> Looks like I have to live. <laughs> I have nothing else chair height to stand on. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Uh, okay, bye. Looks like my. <laughs>